Hey guys, it's SBW, and welcome back to Let's Play Chameleon Twist, the best game to ever be released on the N64. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Let's Play Chameleon Twist. <laughs> Today we're going into the, the desert castle, not the dessert castle. <laughs> it's called Kids Land, actually. The dessert level is called Kids Land. We're going into the desert castle, stage four. This is one of the few levels that is, um, uh, it's kind of like the first one where it was, it's more of a long stretch of land other than, um, uh, a bunch of separate rooms. But before we even get into all this dangerous, oh goodness, don't cut my tongue, please. Let's talk to uh, Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, how many licks does it take the castle set in the middle of the desert? There's the, this, I don't know why it's called Desert Castle. It's, I mean, I guess Desert Land sounds stupid, but uh, all, the rest of them are all land. And this isn't really a castle, it's just a bunch of platforms. Spikes and high walls. I guess we could be outside of a, a castle. Watch out for quicksand and falling rocks. I don't even think there's like actual quicksand in this. I guess sorta, whatever. But yes, the gimmick of this stage is a lot of like spiky traps that try to get you. And for some reason, you can use your tongue to protect you. You know, you'd think that'd be your most vulnerable spot on your body, but no. Good old Fred. Good old Fred or Dave or, or whoever you picked, your tongue is your most valuable, valuable asset. It's great. Uh, I guess this stage is like, I guess, platformy. Let's zoom off the camera a bit. Oh yeah, the camera in this stage is a bit different because, um, you know, in the other stages, like, like it, it's still like a 3D stage, but it's like linear. This is like a Mario Galaxy sort of level I guess maybe kind of like Glover like it's like you just it's kind of just a bunch of floating platforms getting from one end to the other um, it's an okay stage not my favorite um, at least it has you know it has a consistent theme which is I guess I don't like you look you scare the spikes away with your tongue I guess I don't know it's all about just using your tongue to like protect yourself from sharp objects pretty much but there's a lot of just like like you know you, you look at this and it's like oh this is a lot of platform but it's also as you can see a lot of a lot of waiting, and this isn't even the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. At least, like, the, the the theme's nice, though. I'm not usually, you know, a fan of, uh, desert levels, if you couldn't tell from... Oh, oh, great. Great, 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 great. See, you get hit, and then you just have to wait. You gotta go back. It's not like you even fall. I mean, you do fall, but you gotta walk your way back to the beginning of the platform place. Oh, but yeah, well, you know, shifting sand land. Not, not the biggest fan. I used to kind of like that stage. Now it's, it's awful, absolutely awful. But like I, honestly, like even though the, it's funny because I feel like this is probably like the even though it's an okay stage, it's probably like the least of the stages in this game. Well, maybe not, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how the next stage goes. I guess we'll just leave it at that. Um, still, for like a just a desert level compared to all other desert levels, it's not like painful. It's just kind of boring. See, like you just gotta wait for this platform to come over here go all the way over there and again it's not like a it's not we're not like in a world like in like a Mario 64 like 3d world like at least like the other worlds with the rooms like even though come on man even though they're just like a, a bunch of like little like puzzles like you go into a room you solve a puzzle opens the door next room just a bunch of little obstacles it's a bit more believable this is just like floating floating 3d polygon land I don't know it's not the worst thing but I don't, like I, like earlier, I think I mentioned that I'd want I wanted more levels that are just just more uh, continuous continuous some uh, gameplay, just like one long section. Maybe I shouldn't have said that I wanted that because now I've got it, and now I don't know if I want it. And also, I guess I can't tell 3D space there. So guess what? Now we gotta wait. Now we have to wait. There you go. You just gotta just gotta wag your your tongue around until it um. Uh, hits your mark. Oh, another thing I, um, I wanted to show off is if, if you, um, oh, come on. Come on. There you go. See, if you, um, uh, don't swing, you just, like, get pulled to the platform. I don't know if I did that before, but it, what's funny is, like, you actually, like, follow, like, you know, you follow your tongue the way you do it, so you can do, like, a little curl, and, like, your character will actually, come on. Come on, baby. Woo! <laughs> like, he just, he just, like, spins around a bunch. Come on, let's 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 make thread. Uh, let's make thread. Let's make the uh, thread throw up here. 
And then he pukes out a bunch of bugs, because that's what, that's what chameleons eat, right? Actually, I guess he'd puke out, like, ants and... Oh, why? Wait! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Did it just, like, think I was falling for... What's going on there? It, like, just thinks I'm falling for too long. What the heck, man? I was trying to fall down here. Cool game. <laughs> cool game. Um... I guess in this stage, you'd puke up a bunch of vultures. The, the, the enemies in this stage are, like, very... They're just, like, like the first ones we've... The only ones we've seen so far, I guess if you don't count, like, just the obstacles, like the spikes and stuff. Come on! Okay. Uh, just vultures that, you know, just, uh... Float there. And do nothing. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be super, like, super negative in this video, but, like, there, there are some nitpicks with this level that... Yeah, I mean, you know, at least, again, like, the, the theme, like, even though it's a desert, it's a neat, for what it is, a desert castle. I guess, I guess this is, like, an outdoor castle. More like a ruins or something. The background's nice. Ni a nice purple cloudy starry, like, looks like um, uh, Aladdin or something. Um, so the theme's okay. Oh, this is great. You hear that? You hear, you hear me? You hear that? That's me pressing the A button. Anyone? Anyone at all? Anybody get that reference? No? Uh, you can't, this is, I guess, the quicksand they are talking about. You can't control yourself by means of moving or jumping. You have to use your tongue for this section to grab onto poles and move around. Which can be annoying when you're trying to get crowns. You know, the oh-so-important collectible. Come on. There we go. Okay, that one can be kind of annoying to get. Um, luckily, uh, like, oh god, come on. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Here's where we're gonna get to show off. If you die, come on, let me die, please. Oh, you're not gonna let me die? Okay. Here we go. Let me die. If you die, it should spit me back up a way so that even though I missed that one crown, I don't have to redo the entire level. That's something I really hate in a lot of games. That's a big gripe I have with them. I guess if we're gonna talk about games where you play as a, a sort of lizard character with a tongue. Uh, Yoshi's Island, I hate the one-way door stuff. That's something that's in a lot of Kirby games, too. Um, it's not as bad in Kirby, because I feel like the levels are a bit shorter. From what I remember, just from the Kirby games I've played, at least. Um, but, in this game, like, uh, y you can just kill yourself. And it's fun. You can just kill yourself! Well, but yeah, in Yoshi's Island, I, I just, the levels are really long, and then like, oh, you went through a one-way door and you can't go back, and you wanted to get 100%. Oh, let's not complain about Yoshi's Island. No one wants to hear me complain about Yoku's Island here. Come on. Yeah, see, look at look at these. They're, they just sit there. Actually, I think I want to um, uh, zoom in the camera a bit. I want to show off. Uh, they ha Like, their sprites have a little, like, there's a little tiny pixel above them. Unless, like, that's something else. I don't know. Like, it's like they didn't cut all the, the noise. Like, the transparency of the sprite or whatever. Like, there's, like, artifacts. Amazing. I, again, I like this game. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna just <laughs> poke fun at like a bunch of little dumb things in it. I think that's something that um, uh, people need to uh, what's the word? Embrace is pointing out negative things and things that you think are dumb and not not even like not even inexcusable. Like not not that like having um uh, you know artifacts on your bird sprite that doesn't ruin the experience for me. You know that doesn't make it like a bad game. But it's also, it's also, it's inexcusable in that it's just stupid. I think people need to do that with games they like more. They need to be, um, uh, critical. And, like, I mean, like, I, again, I'll say, you know, it doesn't really, like, I still think the game's fun. I think the most important part of the game, you know, being fun, playing nice, um, fun, interesting new ideas and mechanics, being unique and whatnot, that's all here, I think. Game's a bit short, if I haven't... Oh, cool, thanks, Crown. Thank you, Sir Crown. The knights, the round crown. I don't know. You got, you got, you got to, you got to be critical sometimes. This section is um uh, not as bad as the other section because the the uh, the platforms actually level before we were on like a slope. So like my tongue would just keep hitting like the the ground and stopping. Whereas with this, it's all it's all nice and flat, so you can just do that. And it's actually fun like to just mess around with like like again like this is the sort of game that I think a game is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think a game has done a really good job when it's fun to just play it, even if you're not accomplishing anything. Like it's just like it's just fun and satisfying to like swing around on these poles. I could just do that all day. But 
let's not waste your time because I feel like I've already done that enough and either in this video or in previous videos in certain levels Ooh, I thought I was gonna fall there but nope I got the crown come on oh no there we go there we go oh once again this is like you couldn't tell it's me pressing the A button you gotta do the, the holes for that little sand spot there I don't think I missed any crowns so far I sure hope not, because I mean, if I did, you know what, you're just, you're just gonna have to live with it and I'll just go back and get it later. Bonus video. But I don't really know like what they expect you to do with this part. Again, you can use like your tongue to like shield you from the spikes, but... There we go, you just gotta be extra quick, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Whatever, man. Oh, here, oh, speaking of Aladdin. I can show you the world. Shining something I don't know I love this because th all they did was just like make it so the the carpet just like got away from the platform and then like as soon as it was far away so that you couldn't see the platform like to the left they just speed up the background like scroll so like like the gameplay is still the same here but like they just play a little sound and make it like make you think like you're going super fast it's really you're not though <laughs> it's just moving platforms I mean a nice attempt a very nice attempt, you know what, a, you know, A for effort, or is it E for effort? Ooh, man. E? Do you guys get E's or F's in school? It's common of the day. What, what did your school grade you by? E's or F's? I always got F's. Like they were swearing at me. Haha, <laughs> is there a swear word that starts with E? Do people cuss with an E word? Erection. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, and then you got this thing. No, I don't know what to say on that. You got like, I love how these guys... <laughs> Like, they're like, actually, they're like, yay, we're gonna get eaten! <laughs> like, I don't know what that's about. So, I guess it's some sort of red chain chomp, rip off, whatever. But then, like, see, those are just little baby ones. Then you get over here. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, no! Big Daddy! Big Daddy! You know, it reminds me of it's, uh, what is it? Mario Kart Double Dash, the desert track, and that has, like, the big piranha plant. Which, is that? Did they put that in the. Mario Kart 8 remake? I feel like they took it out or something, which is really dumb. I don't remember. But anyway, that's 24 crowns. We, we're, I guess, you know, we're no longer at a desert castle. We're just at a wall of sand. It is time. It's time for that boss. And I guess much like the level itself, even though the level wasn't that bad or anything, it's okay. Whatever. Who cares? The boss is not extremely memorable it's just like this armadillo guy it even re it just reuses the boss music from the first boss all you do is take one of these guys and shoot it at him he makes it he makes a funny noise though when you hit him he's like Row! Let's see, if, let's see if we can hear it if i can hit him come on Row! i don't know the sound effects the voice clips the, the best the best things to point out during the <laughs> video game playthrough on YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> Desert Castle, everyone. <laughs> this song isn't even that great. This is one of like the lamest songs in the game, I feel like. It's not even, you know, it's just like there's no flow to it. Like the, the bass doesn't fit. I don't know. Whatever. Man, what are these things even? Are they crabs? It's weird because when they... Oh, he's dead. See, look, when they're just like in the air, they're little balls, but then they hit the ground and they become like this pile of sand. I don't know. Is he an armadillo? He's got to be an armadillo, right? Yeah, he's an armadillo. What else would he be? Lizard, maybe. Rolly lizard armadillo. Whatever. Hey, look, I got the first time, guys! I did it! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, another castle. We got two castles and four lands. Looks like lands win. John wins. Land, let's fuck. Mm. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>